Make sure you scoop up your liability the Crooked Owl shirt to celebrate Season 1 of the UCL before they're gone for good. Link is on the screen and in the description. Because now that Latias is down, that's one less mom that I have to worry about for Galvantula. So if I go out to Rotom Heat and she scarfs herself into Earthquake or something, she has to swap out. Because I don't think Salamence naturally outspeeds Mega Gardevoir. I don't think it does. Because Salamence's base speed is like 90-something. Oh no, it's 100. It's base 100. Okay, so it's a speed tie. Never mind. I thought Salamence was slower than that. Okay, so it, we're speed tying here. I think I'm still going to go ahead and go out to 30 minutes predicting an Earthquake or an Iron Head or something like that. So unless she goes for a Dragon Claw, we should be good. Unless she's trying to predict my Earthquake, we should be good. And if she does get the Moxie boost up, then we have Lucario right there. She, oh, she went for Shadow Claw. Ooh. We got a crit. Shadow Claw does have a high chance to crit as well. So by 30 minutes, I'm so sad. She's not Scarf Moxie! Wow! She's not Scarf Moxie! Wow! She's not Scarf Moxie, so what I could do at this point is I can go out to either Cheshire, Blue Note, or Scrub, or Flygon. Because I could Dragon Claw. Oh, no, no, no. Shit, outspeed. Never mind. I can't do that. Either Cheshire or. Um, Blue Note, because Blue Note's Sash, so we can take a hit from him and Ice Punch right back, and then E-Speed the next turn, which honestly isn't a bad idea. I might just do that, because Cheshire's still here, but Cheshire I want to keep. Oh, then again, she does have the Liper, which can run Sucker Punch. I think Galvanic can get Sucker Punch too, to be honest. So she carries Shadow Claw, so if I go out in Icy Wind and I don't kill... I think I'll kill with Cheshire. Because there's no Tailwind up. There's no Tailwind up. The Latias is gone. Okay, so Scarf. Icy Wind. It's coming through, nigga. We're going to slow this goddamn thing down. She does have Shadow Call, which scares me. But what would do more? An Icy Wind? I should have I went out to Lucario and Ice Punch. This Gengar means too much to, to risk it like this. So I was going to say, what would do more? A Shadow Ball or an Icy Wind? Or a Sludge Wave? Because both Sludge Wave and Shadow Ball aren't resisted, but they're super... I mean, they aren't resisted, but they're stab. But Icy Wind is quad effective. What's Icy Wind's base uh, power? It's like 40, isn't it? It's base 55. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I should have gone out to Lucario. Lucario would have been smarter. I, I specifically brought Lucario for this thing. I could have Ice Punched and next turn E Speeded. It would be dead. Oh, I misplayed hard. I misplayed so hard. She's just going to Shadow Claw again. I'm going to Icy Win. Fuck it. If anything, we can slow it down. So we might, have not, might not have to risk. JK! It was enough! <laughs> I don't know why I second guess myself too much. Gengar's special attack is sky fucking high. It's sky high. I don't know why I second guess myself. So we're gonna leave with Flygon. Let's see if he predicts it. He led with Jester. His Empoleon. Now, one of two things is gonna happen here. Either he led with Empoleon. I'm pretty sure he led with Empoleon so that he can get rocks up. But what I'm thinking I might do, he doesn't have a Levitate user. Well, his Altaria is Dragon Flying right now. So he can dodge Earthquakes, but once he Mega Evolves that bitch, it's not taking Earthquakes anymore. So what I think I might do... I have two options right now. I can either, number one, go for a Tailwind right now, and for the next four turns or whatever, just hit as hard as I can. I can Earthquake right now and try and kill his Empoleon, because I know his Empoleon is not his physical wall. It's going to be his special wall. Because he has Cathagrius, that's his physical wall. So, what I'm thinking I might want to do, I can either go for a Tailwind or an Earthquake right now. If he predicts the Earthquake, he's going to go out to Mega Altaria, and that's going to be an issue for us. Because he's going to try and Dragon Dance. But if he does that, we can just set up a Tailwind on the turn that he Dragon Dances, and we're good to go. I think I'm going to try and play... I'm not going to set up a Tailwind just yet. I'm just going to go straight out for an Earthquake. If he goes out to Altaria, 
then we'll then we'll tailwind out. So I'm gonna earthquake right now. He didn't swap out. So either he's gonna stay in and go for rocks, or he's gonna ice beam. Goodbye, Empolia! Goodbye, Empolia! Everybody now, goodbye, Empolia! Goodbye, Empolia! Everybody now, goodbye, Empolia! Goodbye. So that's one huge threat gone on his team. That means no rocks for him. That's another ice beamer gone. So our flygon's safe there. And I know he's keeping that Altaria alive because that's straight sweet material. Even if Altarius is last mon, Altaria can still set up a Dragon Dance and sweep. And here it comes. Alright! Our chance is now! We have to burn the bird! We have to burn the bird! We have to burn the bird. We have to burn the bird. I've never clicked a move so fast in my life. I've never clicked a move so fast in my life. I want to will wisp this thing. Because he's revealed Dragon Dance and Ruse so far. I'm guessing his other two moves are Return and Earthquake, since that's standard for Mega Altaria. So let's see what we do here. Let's see what we do here. He went for double... And we're living it! Nice and resisted! Burn that bird! Burn that bird! Burn that bird! Burn that bird! Let's go, nigga! Let's fucking go, nigga! Ah! I was worried we were gonna live it for a second. I was worried we weren't gonna live it for a second because we're not super defensive, we're specially defensive. But, 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 it is resisted hit since because of pixelate, so we should be good. I know we can do at least 25%, so we're gonna scald again. I was gonna say, if we didn't break that fucking sub, he's gonna withdraw! What? Yo, if we burn the Deblade with this. Go, Cindy! I would kiss your three-eyed, sloppy, wet face right now. Oh my God, Cindy! Let's fucking go, Earth power this bitch. Yo, we could scald it in his dead next turn. Cindy! Oh my God! I would kiss your sloppy, wet face. Hashtag burn the blade. Oh my God! Yo, that just came in so fucking clutch. That burn just now came in so. I just dropped my fucking pen. That came in so clutch right now. Yo, even if we didn't burn, even if we didn't burn, the amount of damage that just did, I can take any one hit from that Deblade and Scald it next turn, try and get another burn, or recover off. Yo, that was perfect. Holy, that was perfect. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, that was so... Oh my god, that Cindy... I love Cindy. I absolutely love Cindy. Cindy is the real MVP. You guys don't understand how how much pressure is on these battles. I'm fucking sweating buckets right now. Jesus Christ. I gotta go take a shower after this. Go hop in a storm drain of my own. Giggity goddamn. Cindy, I need you to come through right now. Out of all times, I need you to come through right now. Who's he gonna go at? He's gonna go out to the Cresselia. It's not gonna be enough. And the battle's gonna time out on this turn. The battle's gonna time out on this turn. Load up a skull, battle times out. Lunar dance? So he's gonna, what is that, pass it? And that heals the mill tank. Because that's basically what? Healing Wish? So that's going to heal him and get rid of the paralysis. But the battle's over, right? Isn't the battle over, though? Time has run out. Battle's over. We won! Because he loaded dance! We fucking won! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! WE JUST WON! HE JUST got ME! HE SAID, UM, WHO WON TECHNICALLY? I DID! ALL BECAUSE HE LUNAR DANCED! WE JUST BEAT LEO! YES! HE SAYS MILTANK HAD US BEAT- IT DOESN'T MATTER! IT DOESN'T MATTER! 
It doesn't matter, Leo. The uh the the game the game is official. The game is official. That's it. By the grace of God, Sire Pikachu himself. I mean, we. I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say that I outmaneuvered or outplayed Leo or anything like that. I didn't. I fucked up with the Crocodile. I fucked up not uh, by swapping out on the plus four Lucario. I fucked up with the Gardevoir easily. I fucked up. But Leo did the biggest fuck up of them all. He Lunar Dance on his last turn. Because when the battle times out, the first thing it looks at is how many Mons you have left. Then it looks at HP. So by technical default, by, by technically. We just beat Leo. When it comes to this Keldeo, I honestly don't have to click anything but Mirror Coat. Only downside would be is if he hard swaps right now, then we reveal the recarry Mirror Coat. And that would suck. Because that's like our ace in the hole. So, let's think here. Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. Do we go for a Toxic on a potential Shaman? No, it doesn't matter because Shaman carries Natural Cure. It doesn't matter. Shaman carries natural cure. There's no reason for me. Okay, I'm gonna mirror coat. I'm gonna mirror coat on the off chance he carries HP grass. He carries HP grass! Rindo Berry pops! <laughs> that would have been so much more effective. That would have been so much more effective if we would have knocked him out at full. That would have been amazing. Oh, I hate the situation I'm in. That misplay with the Gastrodon cost us so much. I need that Gastrodon for this Entei. Because I know I can take any hit from the Entei. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Oh, it's timed out! I don't know what move I just went for. What is life? What is life? What is life? I'm sitting here trying to think and debate and it times out. It could have gone for Will-O-Wisp and that would have fucked me over. Jesus. I mean, I have no reason to go for anything but Volt Switch right now. Obviously, he's going to stay in in Sacred Fire. Actually, no, he could try and save it. He could try. I'm gonna Volt Switch. I'm gonna Volt Switch because he could try and save this. I was gonna say he could try and save the Entei. He could try and save the Entei on the off chance that I'm going to. Uh, I mean, just for. Well, no, he can't save the Entei. Well, no, no, he still has a Rapid Spinner. He could have. I'm gonna go for the Crunch. I feel like I should try and get as much damage off as I can. And let Lucario sweep with E Speed. I knew that wasn't going to kill. I knew I wasn't going to kill. There it is! Thank you so much! I said both of them had a chance to miss. I said both of them had a chance to miss. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. My phone's dying, but we're good. That was the best thing that could have happened to us just now. Was him missing the seed flare. I, I, so I, I literally just said he has a chance to miss Sea Flare. He has a chance to miss um 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 Sweet Kiss as well. I'm so glad I stayed in and risked that just now. Because even from this range, Lucario can kill with E Speed. But now I know for sure Crunch will kill, and we outspeed. That's gonna give us a second Moxie boost. I'm more than certain at that point it's gonna do crazy work to execute drill and Electros. We just got graced by God Slayer Pikachu and Arceus above for a second week in a row. Are you serious? That can't... What? What? Like... What is Sea Flare's accuracy? What is Sea Flare's accuracy? Is it like 85%? I'm pretty sure it's like 85%. I'm pretty sure it's like 85%. It's 85%. We had a 15% chance. Oh my goodness, what?
down goes the shaman. Down goes the shaman. He had everybody but the Entei because it's an event. E Sweet Entei is an event nicknamed David. What? Yo, by the grace of Arceus above, that saved us. What are the chances of him S uh, swords dancing right now, though? Predicting a swap, knowing that we need this. I'm thinking about substitute too much. I'm gonna sludge wave. I'm gonna sludge wave. So there's the Mega Pinsir. Which he would have to bring in order to quick attack us. He would have to be Mega Pinsir. Is the quick attack incoming? He went for the quick attack. I don't think those four points in defense are gonna matter. Oh! They mattered! He lived on four! Are you serious? It's not enough! Oh my goodness! What? Are you serious? This bitch right here! Oh my... Come on! Ugh, that's so aggravating! That means it's gonna be... That means Crooked Owl has to take out the Mew. Oh, he still has Infernape! Oh my goodness, this is gonna be such a problem for us. This Gengar we needed. We needed this Gengar. I might have misplayed by leaving him in. I know, I absolutely 100% misplayed by leaving him in. I should have gone out to Liability, got the Intimidate drop, we could have ate the Quick Attack up. It would have been good to go from there. <sighs> Shadow Ball does 60%. I know Energy Ball is going to one-shot. I honestly have no choice. I have to go for Energy Ball. Energy Ball it is! Goodbye, Mega Swamper, nigga! Ah! Goodbye, Mega Swamper! Woo! Another huge threat is down off his team. Another huge threat is down off his team. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. So Rotom did his job. Rotom took care of Togekiss. Swamper's gone. The only big threat left is Jirachi. And I feel like he's going to go out to Jirachi right now. And this is retribution from everybody that says Gengar is Clefable's fucking shadow. God damn it. Gengar is a strong, independent man who don't need... No, wait. Independent Pokemon who don't need... Independent Shadow who don't need no Clefable, goddammit. <laughs> All hope is not lost just yet. All hope is not lost just yet. We're free to go out to uh, Lucario here. And we're free to... I feel like he's not going to swap out. I feel like... I don't know. He might swap out because he needs this thing for... I feel like no matter what... Because the only thing that crossed my mind is... I don't think he can one-shot us with anything. That's the thing. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see what we can do here. Iso Crash is still doing a lot. Knockoff is still doing a lot. Ice Shard, the thing is, he can't go for one move and an Ice Shard and kill us. That's the thing, because Ice Shard at most does 23%, whereas Knockoff would do 54%. So he can't kill us, so I might be able to go for a Nasty Plot at this point. I'm gonna, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk the Nasty Plot. I'm gonna risk the Nasty Plot. So we went for Ice Shard, which we eat that up. I'm gonna go for a Nasty Plot. Look, 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 the damage though. Look, 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 the damage though. I'm gonna go for a Nasty Plot. I think he was expecting either a Vacuum Wave or something else. He was just trying to get the damage off. So at this point, do I get greedy? And go for another Nasty Plot. Because the question is, at plus one, at plus one, how much does, how much does this do to Cobalion? If it's Jolly Nature, Vacuum Wave at plus one, how much are we doing? How much are we doing? How much are we doing? Vacuum Wave has a chance to do a lot of damage, but we don't one shot. Oh, it scares me. Oh, wait, 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 it didn't update. What the fuck? It didn't update. Yeah, Vacuum Wave at plus one, we can kill a Cobalion. Uh, well, we have a chance to kill a Cobalion, I should say. What about EV Light Rhydon? That's the only thing. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the clock. I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Oh, uh, we only do 60% and then we're dead after that. And we can't touch. Whatchamacallit. Why is it not updating? It doesn't update. I'm going to risk it. 
because I know Icicle Crash can only do so much. I'm gonna risk it and go for a second Nasty Plot. He went for Icicle Crash, so as long as he doesn't crit, we should be good. There we go. We should be good. And Weavile kills itself, and we get a second Nasty Plot off. Whew! Okay! So we get a second Nasty Plot off, and we should be good to go. We should be good to go to Vacuum Wave anything. I feel like he's gonna go out to Rhydon. Oh, he didn't go out to Rhydon. Does this thing get E-Speed? I don't think it does. We already have Cobalion opened up. No, he doesn't get E-Speed. Okay, so we're free to Vacuum Wave. To click Vacuum Wave at this point. And it should kill! It should kill! There it is! That's what I'm talking about! So Cobalion's down, Weavile's down, all that's left is the Rhydon. All that's left is the Rhydon, which... We're gonna do a crazy shit ton of damage to it. It's just, will it be enough for Swell to come in and kill if we don't kill this thing? Because it is so bulky. It is so bulky. There it is! Oh my goodness! We did it! We beat Joey! Oh my goodness! I can't believe that! I cannot believe that just happened. I'm gonna go to Rotom. Oh, he could have Rock Tomb. Don't hit me with Rock Tomb. I'm gonna go out to Rotom. It's just, if he gets a Swords Dance up or a Substitute, then we are absolutely screwed. He went for Rock Tomb! What?! We weren't meant to win this week. I'm playing, like, complete and utter ass. We weren't meant to win this week. Because the only issue with him running Protect is... We have to be careful what we lock ourselves into. Because if we lock ourselves into Earthquake, Sceptile can eat up an Earthquake. If we lock ourselves into U-Turn, well, he won't know that we're locked in if we go for a U-Turn. But he, it might be enough to scare him out. Because who's he going to go out to to take a hit? Snorlax? But I feel like us locking ourselves into Outrage is the best bet to do damage to this Snorlax. He didn't bring any of his steel types. There's no Skarmory here. And he has nobody that's off the ground either. It's just Sceptile can take an Earthquake. Sceptile can't take an Outrage or a Fire Blast. And U-Turn even does the work too. It's just if I U-Turn out and he brings in Snorlax, who am I U-Turning out into? Everything is screaming at me to click Outrage right now, but the safe side of me is saying U-Turn. I'm gonna click Outrage. Everything in my head is screaming U-Turn right now, but I'm gonna click Outrage. Is he sashed? Well, Rox took the sash from him. Was he predicting a U-Turn? Or is he bulky like Rocky Head? I mean, Rocky Helmet. Rough skin Rocky Helmet was probably it, but the Garchomp's down. Garchomp is down and out. That's not bad. I'm glad I didn't U-turn now. Because I think he might have been predicting a U-turn. And I would U-turn out of his uh, on his Garchomp. And he would be in to just roar me out of anybody. But now the question is, who is he going to go out to? Pillow Pet. Ah! God damn it. Can we hit hard enough? Can we hit hard enough? I don't think we're going to be able to hit hard enough. He's going to kill me with the facade. Oh, it was enough! Flygon! You beautiful, beautiful monster! Oh, you're gorgeous! I would kiss your freaking googly-eyed eye protection sack thingies! God, Flygon, you beautiful, beautiful monster! So if anything, that tells me that his Jinx is not Scar- I was gonna say, where is his Jinx at? What's Jinx's base speed? I thought Jinx was like 115 or something. Jinx is base 95. So that tells me his Jinx is not Scarfed. Because he didn't feel careful enough bringing it out. 
So his Jinx is not scarfed. Yo! Why don't you miss PK? Just miss! Who lands three focus blasts in a row? Who does it? Who does that? Who lands three focus blasts in a row? I'm gonna click seismic toss. He has to miss the fourth one. Nobody lands four focus blasts in a row. Nobody does. Let me uncheck crit real quick. Thank you. I was about to say, nobody lands four focus blasts in a row. God damn. <laughs> nobody lands four focus blasts in a row. I swear to all that is good, Patters. If you carry knockoff on this goddamn. I swear, if you carry knockoff. I feel like he's gonna have knockoff. I mean, he swapped out before. He swapped out before, so why wouldn't he just stay in and go for knockoff again? I'm gonna click counter. I feel like it's time. He's stone edged. Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect! Get him up out! Get him up out! No more rapper spin for you! No more rapper spin for you! Okay, so the Armaldo is gone. Chansey did its job. Chansey did it to its job. We revealed counter, but I think that was I think it was the perfect time. I don't think it was too early. I think that was the perfect time because if anything, that might keep him from sending in the Staraptor or anybody else. I'm gonna click hyper voice. Because I feel like he's not going to get he didn't swap. I was gonna say, I feel like he, he's not gonna swap in the Magna Zone this early. So going for a substitute would have just been a waste of time. So let me get whatever damage I can off on this thing, since this is one of the biggest threats to our team. Oh, he carries Shadow Ball! Oh, that's gonna kill! Yo! I'm so stupid! Oh! He's not Specs. He can't be Specs. Because a Specs. Shadow Ball would do at least 74% because I want you guys to know the moment I read Shadow Ball I glanced at the damage count and it says Shadow Ball right there and I have no idea why I didn't think oh he could probably just Shadow Ball me I'm sitting there calculating Psy Shock again he's not gonna go for Psy Shock again I'm a fucking idiot but I mean we do outspeed so I can click Hyper Voice again because Dragon Claw doesn't do enough either if he carries Dragon Claw instead of I'm gonna click Ice Beam Clear Smog is like in the back of my head but I'm gonna click Ice Beam he used Outrage okay so we can go out to Gardevoir after this and stop his Outrage and Mega Evolve because we live in that oh oh that Rocky Helmet though I still don't know what item he has just yet but can we do the damage Cindy oh we got a free Sue oh my god oh oh my god yo that's incredibly unlucky I'm so, I feel so, so bad for that. I feel so, so bad for that. I really, really do. That sucks. Frozen or Freeze is like the worst status ailment you could ever have. But what I'm going to do right now, instead of killing this thing, I'm going to click Recover. Oh! Earthquake kills! Earthquake kills! Earthquake kills. Um, I'm just going to go out to Rotom. If he goes for Extra Sensory, it's going to kill Rotom, which is fine at this point. Because I think we have other things to handle the Scizor anyways. I just want to lose Crook just yet. I'm gonna go out to Crook. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna play risky. I'm gonna go out to Crook. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain. I think he's gonna Extra Sensory or Sludge Bomb predicting the Guard of War. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain because Rotom is too much of a presence there. Oh no! Why? Ugh. The Yolo plays. Yolo plays aren't smart. Fuck! I'm safe to Ice Punch. I'm gonna Ice Punch, because I'm pretty sure we outspeed. He withdrew- What? I want you to know, I thought about going for Close Combat just now, because Close Combat does 60 fucking percent. If I could have Close Combat this goddamn thing, oh my god. That would have been bliss. That would have been absolute bliss. Ah! What? Two freezes! What is life? I'm so, so sorry, Luke. I'm so, 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 I'm so, so sorry. That's not right. That is not right. I know Luke has had a lot of issues with freeze hacks and being unlucky throughout the season. I think when he battled Kristen, he got frozen twice as well. I'm so, so sorry. Freeze hacks is the absolute worst. That's, I'm so, so sorry about that. Chansey walls the fuck out of this Blastoise. I love it. Ah! Of course, a crit or a sphere is going to hurt quite a bit. 
but we can keep eating up these uh, uh, aura spheres. I feel like he he's gonna have to swap to primate and predict. Is the switch happening right now? Jay, are you switching to primate? He went for. Oh, he's gonna try and flinch me. There we go. Or maybe he was predicting a switch to Gengar to take an aura sphere. I don't think he's gonna stay in. I'm gonna soft boil to get my HP back. So if he does swap to primate, I can click counter. I'm just desperately like trying to think of all different avenues that he could possibly go through. Is he gonna go out to primate? Oh, don't super fang, Jay. Don't super fang. You see, it's a big toss up though. I'm gonna seismic toss. Because if he taunts me, he withdrew. Well, I'm gonna get a free seismic toss off on your bitch ass. Okay, Honchcrow. Catch this seismic toss. Okay, Honchcrow, catch this seismic toss. Uh, I want to see, can I live a Brave Bird or a Superpower? Can I live a Brave Bird or a Superpower at full HP? I cannot live... Oh, wait, 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 that's on the wrong Mon. That's on Gardevoir. Hold on. Ooh. Let's check out a Superpower. Even superpower we can live. Unless he goes for like... Does Honchkrow get Swords Dance? Does he get Swords Dance? He does not get Swords Dance. I feel like Jay is going to attack right now. I think this might be the time to go for counter. I'm gonna click it. I feel like this is the time to go for counter. He went for Sucker Punch. Okay, he's life orb. <laughs> oh my god, Hodgecrow is gone! Oh my god, why is he not going out to Prime? I guess he's trying to whittle it down so that Prime Ape can kill with a close combat. But I feel like Jay did not see Counter Chansey coming. <laughs> okay, so Hodgecrow is down and out. So we are halfway through the allotted time in the battle. Only two Mons have been gone so far. I feel like he has to go out to Primeape right now and close combat because I, I don't remember how much HP we have, but I think close combat will kill. Because I think a if he's not banded, a regular close combat does like I think it does like yeah, close combat kills. If he's carrying Black Belt, it does ninety percent. If he's carrying Life Orb, well, how much would a Life Orb close combat do? Life Orb does 99%. Why, why, why back out to the Blastoise, Jay? Why? All I have to do is click Soft Boiled, and then Seismic Toss you again next turn. I don't understand why he just didn't go out to Primate, but the Blastoise is now gone. He just keeps firing off Aura Spheres at me. Does he have like a special Primate or something? But again, from this range, from this range, a close combat will kill. I just wanted to get this Blastoise out of here so we can end this little back and forth stall war. But at the same time, we really don't need Chansey anymore. John Cena, that's gotta be Primate. I don't know why he didn't do that before and save his Blastoise. I'm comfortable with sacking off Chansey at this point. Chansey has walled. He went for an Ice Punch! Why, Jay? Why? Jay, why? I guess he thought I was going to try and save it and go out to... But even then, close combat kills Flygon. I don't understand. I'm just going to click Seismic Toss. He has to click close combat now. Close combat... Jay! Why don't you just punch the shit out of this Chansey? What are you doing? I don't understand why he's letting Chansey live. I don't get it! I don't get it! I'm gonna click Soft Boy. If he has Taunt, then it sucks. He Brave Bird. I was gonna say, he could Brave Bird and kill as well, but I don't understand why he wouldn't just close combat. Is he saving it for something? Even that we lived! I thought that would for sure- Maybe I counted it wrong. I thought for sure it would- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what- I don't know- I- I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't understand! 
I want to go to there, but I don't understand why. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, he's got Brave Bird on the goal bat. That's the first offensive move he's shown, or at least the one, only one I remember. I'm going to click counter. I'm going to click counter in case he Brave Birds me again. Super Fang. Does this mean I'll knock him out? Because he's going to do a half to me? <laughs> oh my god! What is happening? Jay! Close combat me! Just... CLOSE COMBAT ME! WHY IS CHANCY DOING THIS?! I'm gonna seismic toss! THANK YOU! WHY DID YOU NOT JUST DO THAT?! I DON'T KNOW WHAT TO SAY! I DON'T- YOU- I- I- I'm speechless! I don't know why- I- I don't- I mean, obviously he was trying to predict or over predict or something. But I honestly don't know why he didn't just go out to Primate to begin with. He would have saved the Blastoise, the Haunch Crow, and the Golbat. Would all still be here. I kind of want a Thunder Wave. I really want a Thunder Wave, as a matter of fact. But I feel like he might, if he's carrying Substitute, I feel like he might go for it, predicting either a Soft Boiled or a Counter. So I really want a Seismic Toss, just for the chance to get some damage off. But if I could Thunder Wave this Metagross... Do I Thunder Wave and risk a substitute? Or do I Seismic Toss and try and get a little bit of damage off? I'm gonna click Seismic Toss. He carries Hammer Arm. Oh! We avoided it! Oh! I could've Thunder Waved him! I could've Thunder Waved him! Oh my god! I could've Thunder Waved him! That would've been excellent! So he does carry hammer arm. Okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say that's the only thing that he could have gone for. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click seismic toss again. I'm gonna click seismic toss again. Are you kidding me? Chancy! Chancy! Chancy, what are you? Chancy! You beautiful, beautiful egg! You beautiful, beautiful egg! What? Chansey is just rolling out the way! Oh my god! That was- uh, wow! I don't even know what to say. If we can take care of the Crobat, Gardevoir does work. That's all I can say. If we can take care of the Crobat, Gardevoir does the work.